guys so um i'm still feeling a hundred percent um i still have this flu virus thing going around um and i but i really enjoyed like filming a video so i thought why not like film another one um and i thought let's do a tag because i kind of really love them i know i'm boring like that but anyway so i thought i'd do the seven deadly sins tag which is like an old one but i've never seen any youtubers doing it until like recently like i I think it was in the archives or something I just on that side panel you know that we get like deeper and deeper into YouTube um and then I thought oh that's actually really cool there's seven questions so it's not a long tag um so let's get started so greed what is your most inexpensive beauty item and what is your most expensive you know my most inexpensive is actually a harder one because I have quite a lot of like cheapy beauty products that I absolutely love and um, so that's probably the hardest I would say probably something from Essence because Essence is really reasonably priced um yeah I think most of their products are about 30 rand you know like their nail polishes and those things so I would say that because I absolutely love their nail polish and um, it like lasts forever so I would say Essence nail polish and the most expensive um would be the Estee Lauder uh, Energizing Creme, which is 4,000 Rand, and uh, it's a good creme. Like, I prefer the, the serum, which is 3,900 Rand, but unfortunately, it ox like the oxygen kind of destroys a lot of the active ingredients, so it's quite sad in that factor. Um, but 4,000 Rand is a hell of a lot for a beauty product, so that would be like my most expensive, I think, by far. Wrath. What beauty products do you have a love-hate relationship with? Um, two beauty products. Well, the ones like beauty product and then the ones like body product, if you will. The beauty product that I have a love-hate relationship first off would be primer. I have oily skin. I love primer. It holds, it keeps everything like it should. Um, but I always forget to apply it. And when I do apply it, I like have such a hard time applying makeup over it. Um, I just don't feel that it's that easy to always remember to use. I don't know, it's, that sounds strange, but anyway. Um, oh, and contouring. I love when makeup artists contour for me, but I can't contour myself at all. Like, I'm terrible at that. So, um, that would be the other one. And then the other thing, I have quite a few love-hates, would be uh, self-tan. I love the look of looking tanned and obviously being very fair skinned, um, going out in the sun and those things is not good for anyone, but um, I hate the smell, I hate the process, I'm just really, I'm like, do I have to go through this? Do I have to do this? Is it worth it? So that would be that one. Gluttony, what are your most delicious beauty products? Well, I think we know which two brands sort of lure us into the shop because of their scent. Um, Lush. But I've never really been that blown away by the Lush products, to be honest. Um, well, they're all bath products and stuff. Um, nothing that really stands out for me. I know a lot of people have favorites, and I will probably get, like, stoned for that. But um, I just, I, I like the, I think it's delicious smelling. And then the Body Shop. The Body Shop products smell so freaking good. I love it. Um, I, I think that drew me in first off for the brand. So definitely... Those are the most delicious smelling. Um, I'm saying I'm a lot in this video. Sorry, guys. Sloth. What beauty product do you neglect due to laziness? Uh, I think that would be eye cream. Like eye serums and stuff like that. I have many fantastic, like brands have sent me some brilliant eye creams that really do help. But I just always forget to apply it. I'm lazy enough at night applying like cream. I, I wash my makeup off, but I just, I don't know, it's like a whole nother step. I mean, I know it sounds pathetic, but I just, I can't always remember. I'm just too lazy. What, oh, pride. What beauty product gives you the most self-confidence? You know, I always would say red lips and bright lips and all of that, but I actually think mascara, because I have no eyelashes, like they're, they're long-ish. Um, but they're blonde, so if I don't wear mascara, I look like I'm sick, tired, ill. Like, I don't have eyeliner on today at the bottom, um, so I probably look a bit tired anyway. 
but if I don't wear mascara, I feel very self-conscious. I can go out without face, I can do all of that, but mascara, that's my self-confidence boost. That I'm like, I'm fine, I can face the world. So that would be that one. Lust. What attributes do you find most attractive in the opposite sex? Well, I presume this would be more beauty related. So I'd have to say a good, nice cologne. Like if a guy smells good, then that's like, yes divine <laughs> and envy what items would you most like to receive as a gift hmm probably a clarisonic because I've heard such good things about them and they're just too pricey for me to justify so I would say that would be the thing that when someone has that I'm like damn I really want that like I really do I've heard so many good things about it but it is also like almost 4,000 around here so it's just not quite worth it in my opinion to spend it myself at this point but I'm envious of others that have it so those are my seven deadly sin answers I hope you enjoyed watching this tag guys